I'm in Corvo and Bianco. Carol's new home. Oh, there's a dog. I wonder what I'll find. This is apparently a whole estate we've been given the deed to, so now, presumably at the end of the game, we can just retire. You know, own a, own a winery. I mean, how amazing. There's people. This is where we were when we had the, um, the fight. I'm sure this is where we were at the fight. Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. Cool. We were down there last time. I don't remember that. Did we go here? Did I... Did I... Did I... Um, did I fast travel? Did, I see take, did the game take me here? And remember this. Where did we start from? Maybe we came over this way. Oh, you had to investigate the thing, the dead, but the body in the morgue, in the makeshift morgue. But I don't know where we started from. I'll have to go back to my old recordings. Whatever, I'll go home then. Slow go up this way. Oh, cutscene. Welcome home, sir. Mm, I am okay. Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, hmm, I suppose so, case, isn't it? He's a witcher. Leave it all to me. I shall organize, wow. see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Nice. I can already see I'm in good hands. Not only do I get a house, I get a whole thing. How cool. Whole business. That's awesome. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Brossel, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Kedweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Hmm. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair went about his work with an exceptional... What the heck is a cut purse? They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. I mean, okay. What's he never head? hesitated, not once. Is it the guy that cuts off the heads in the medieval times? a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Oh, Monsieur okay. Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Oh, Sadly, good. misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Oh, oh no. Bad. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made oh. even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invited oh, friends from far balls. and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. Huh. It's the sort of man he How was, Monsieur Bolus. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Okay. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Sometime later, heal with view of Confio Bianco. Oh, nice. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Follow Major Domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of Major Domos. My father was a Major Domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. 
In fact, she was the I one can't do that now. the tradition. Great aunt. Hmm. A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed oh. on as oh. a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. Oh. Dragged the rest of the family up the same What is a Major Domo? Is it like the person who runs the place? Wow, I got staff and everything. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries oh. to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not the <laughs> most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stands. Mm, it is, actually. My game timer says I have one and a half minutes left before my alarm will go off. Baron so, Rossell ordered the vines finish this, this conversation. part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. But they look beautiful, especially comes through. He ordered the vines and the olive groves. Hmm. It does look good, doesn't it? Puzzle. Oh, another peacock! Down below lies your vineyard, where we where? know a strain of oh, Carfaner, one, right there. one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Okay. Got to try it one of these days. Okay, well, I'm supposed to be um, finishing up because my time is about ready to go off, and I really should be doing something else with my life, possibly sleeping. Because getting late. But this is interesting and uh, peaceful. It's probably not good for my sleep, though. Hmm. Maybe I will... I'll carry on just until I get done with the tour. Or should I? No, I think I will. I'm still on the burden. Nice one. <laughs> Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long hmm. ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about guests attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartache and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Oh no. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When he found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains, and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Oh, Lebioda. Oh, from the Witcher 1. The, um... The thing, the, the place where Shani worked. Oh, amazing view. Much better view in this game than the previous episodes. Monsieur Bolius's wife Nina kept a garden here. Ah, a supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once mm. again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Hmm, game saved. Maybe I should leave now. Because the game is saved. Um, I'll do that. I shall do that. I shall. Stop the recording. Mm. Carry on later. <laughs>